In 2020.3, Tableau have enhanced the ability to export cross tabs from web authoring or from Tableau Online or Tableau Server to the Excel format. Previously, you could only do this to the CSV format. And of course, most people open that in Excel and so therefore thought Excel export was already available. But the difference here is that with Excel export, we actually maintain and preserve some of the formatting that we get in Tableau a little bit better. Okay, that's a long-winded explanation for this feature. Let's just try it out now and I'll show you how it works. Right now you can see here I'm on Tableau Online. I've got my Superstore workbook. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go to the overview and I'm essentially gonna export the cross tab for one of these views. Now in the previous release, 2020.2, they actually improved the ability to do cross tab exports. They don't require you to select the specific sheet that you want this to come from. Instead, when you hit the cross tab, it actually asks you which sheet you'd like to export information from. And so I can actually choose the map in this case. Uh, you can now see the new feature here, which is Excel rather than CSV. And in this particular case, because I'm going from a map to a table, you'll see that it's actually just going to export this. So I'm going to write over the previous version I did to test this. Uh, we're going to replace it and then we're going to open it. And you'll see here that it's basically tried to format this in the most beautiful way that you can in Excel, which is this rather spacious table to say the least. Okay, so I'm going to close this tab. And we're gonna try the same thing again. This time I'm gonna try on an actual table that we've built in Tableau. So let's go back to Superstore. And this time we're gonna to go to this what if forecast. Now the thing I want you to bear in mind is how this table is laid out. And ideally like to export it like this in Excel. And so we're gonna do the same thing again. Let's hit download, hit the cross tab. Uh, there's only one sheet to export here. So that's all we're gonna use. Excel is the default option that's ticked here. Click download. Now it's gonna overwrite the existing one because I've already tried this once in my practice run. And then if I hit the what if forecast sheet and I open that, you'll notice that it's done a really good job of actually merging some of the fields. And this has pretty much preserved the exact same layout as I had in Tableau. We've lost a bit of the formatting, the conditional formatting that we had on uh, these figures. But other than that, everything else is pretty much, uh, you know, there. And you can obviously play around with this feature a little bit more and format it. Over here in web edit, I actually can't do that much formatting. If I go down here to edit, you'll notice that the formatting capabilities that we get in desktop with headers that we can just do by right clicking here aren't available just yet. So that's maybe something you want to do in desktop that when people export this in uh, online or server, they're then able to sort of replicate this much, much, much easily. Okay, that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. You can obviously play around with this a little bit more. Um, in my tests, I've actually been able to get quite a lot of the formatting of the table uh, to come through in the Excel. So it's gonna definitely improve the experience of exporting cross tabs from Excel. So users who are used to the Excel format We'll probably find they have a happier time exporting data from Tableau, which is never a great outcome, but nevertheless, it's something that people ask for, so Tableau have provided. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. If you haven't, let me know what you'd like to improve. And of course, check out some of the other videos in this playlist on 2020.3, and be sure to check some of the other great content we have on this channel uh, about Tableau.